Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my... Hello my kings and queens, welcome to my channel Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Scorpios back to my channel. If you are new, welcome, welcome, welcome. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my kings and queens, so take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus placements. Also, the energies or the roles in my readings may be interchangeable, so apply yourself as you see fit. Don't forget if this reading does resonate, don't forget to support your girl by clicking like, share, subscribe, and clicking the all option when you click the bell so you can get future notifications to know when I will be uploading another video and as you know your reading does come with an extended so in the extended we dive deeper into the message what we don't uncover in the first half of the reading we may uncover in the second half of the reading there's two links in the description box below this video one is a membership option and the other is a one-time access option both options is five dollars the difference between the two is the membership option will allow you access to all of my extended zodiac sign readings so you'll be able to check out all of your other placements if you choose to. All right, let's tap into the energies that is surrounding the collective. We already got three cards that came out. Beautiful. All right, so let's see what's going on with my Scorpios, okay? We have Seven Chakra Archangel Uriel, okay? This is your crown chakra, okay? This speaks of having good intuition is the energy here, or at least someone here is following their intuition or followed their intuition is the energy here in as far as a particular situation goes is what I'm seeing here, okay? So I do believe something transpired, okay? I feel like you're now in a space right now where you are more aware, okay? I feel like you are in your divinity is the energy that I'm seeing, okay? I feel like you got your wings, okay? I feel like you worked very hard on, you know, being the person that you are and you're continuously working on becoming a better version of yourself is the energy that I'm seeing here. But I'm seeing you becoming more aware, okay? I'm seeing you being more intuitive is the energy here, following your intuition more, being more open to, you know, your inner self is what I'm seeing, okay? I feel like you're more comfortable in your space. We have here walking away. So you could have walked away from someone is the energy here, Okay, is the energy that I'm seeing here. But as you can see, this person's looking back. Okay, so this could be an energy where someone could be having second second thoughts in a situation. As you can see, she's walking through this gate. But as she's walking away, she's looking back. Okay, so you walked away from someone is the energy here or someone walked away from you. Okay, is the energy. Someone walked away from something that was very hard for them to walk away from. Okay, is what I'm seeing here. It's almost like you were on the fence. You know, should you leave? Should you stay? That kind of energy. It could have had a lot to do with deceit. Okay, so this person that you were talking to, there was deception here. Okay, deception could be anything from lies, cheating, manipulation um, is the energy here. It could have anything to do from, you know, abuse, uh, feeling codependency in the situation. Okay, is the energy or even addictions. Okay, there was deceit here. Okay, you felt like you couldn't trust this person. There was some type of betrayal is the energy that's coming through. What other energy is here? What other energy is coming through for the collective? Okay, you walked away from someone you couldn't trust. Okay, you followed your intuition. Okay, something came to light here. We have here first chakra, Archangel Michael. Okay, this is about having the strength to move forward. Go figure. Okay, you were wanting stability from this, this person. Okay, that's the energy. You wanted stability from this situation. You wanted security. Okay, and this person could not provide that for you. Okay, maybe this person was someone who was very non-committal in the situation is the energy here. What are the energies here, spirit? What are the energies coming through for the collective? What's the energy here? What's the energy here? What's the energy? What's the energy coming through for the collective? What's the energy? Thank you, thank you, thank you. And our last card is Angel of Balance. Okay, is the energy coming through. So this is about having balance in the situation. I'm seeing temperance energy, okay? The temperance energy is all about balance, peace. You know, doing things in moderation in your life, okay? Finding peace in relationships that you form with other people, whether it's a relationship, a friendship, a family member, take it as it resonates. But this is about finding balance in your life, okay? So I feel like the angels of balance is surrounding you, okay? Trying to bring balance to your life. 
you had to move forward to find this balance and this peace. The bottom of the deck, we have attachment. I'm sorry, attachment. Okay, this energy speaks of attachment to bad habits and the past. Okay, so someone here could be in stuck energy is what I'm seeing here. Okay, you're in a space right now where you are attached to a situation or were attached to a situation is the energy that I'm seeing. Okay, as you can see, this person is taking off this mask. Okay, so this could be an energy where you're finally deciding to let it go. Okay, no longer wearing this mask, you know, feeling tied to something that is not meant for you, your highest purpose and your highest good. So now you're finally releasing it is the energy here or you're wanting to release it. That's the energy here as well. Maybe you felt like you were attached to someone that was wearing a false mask, you know, not showing you their true feelings. That could be why this deceit energy is here as well. This energy could be here about you. Okay, maybe you are the one wearing this false mask, pretending to be someone that you're not. Nonetheless, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. We're going to find out what is going on here with the collective. Let me go ahead and grab this deck that's behind me. All right, so let's use this deck and find out what is going on here. What's the energy here, spirit? What's the energy here? What is it that my Scorpio needs to know? What's the energy that's transpiring around this reading? What is the energy transpiring around this reading spirit? Energy here. Let's get one more shuffle in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's the energy here? What's the energy here? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What are the energies that's coming through? What are the energies that's here? Thank you. All right, interesting, interesting. All right, so let's see what's coming out for you. All right, we got a lot of energies here. So we have, it says creativity. It says inspiration, productivity, creation, bring out the greatness within, okay? So you could be in a space right now, okay? Because we do have the crown chakra card. This speaks of enlightenment, you know, being in a space now where you now have this urge to create. You could have had some crown chakra blocks is the energy, but now in a space where you are, you know, being more productive in your life, okay? You are in a space right now where you are wanting to bring out the best in you is the energy that I'm seeing, no longer feeling stuck to a situation, no longer feeling this blockage that you have. This is about having that inspire or that urge to create, you know, whether that's new projects, um, is the energy here or starting a new business, okay? Someone is now in a space now where they're more open, okay? We also have here regret, remorse, life regrets, loss, start making empowered choices. So someone is in regret. Okay, could this be your past person in regret? Could this be you in regret? Maybe regret about how things transpired or is transpiring in your life. Okay, so you, I'm seeing life regrets here. Okay, I feel like this is attached to you. You're having life regrets about something. Okay, you're regretting something. You're wishing things weren't the way that it was in a particular situation. That's the energy that I'm getting here. Maybe re you could be regretting not following your path in life, not following your true passion on what it is that you wanted to do. Okay, we have offer. It says gesture, engagement, wedding, rejoice in the union, in your union. Okay, so some type of offer is coming in here towards you. That could be work-related. Okay, that could also mean an offer in love. That could be the energy here as well. We have receive. It says open mind and abundant, ready. It's your time to receive. So something is coming in here towards you. And I feel like it's romance because we have the romance card here as well. It says revel, flow, savor, entice, open yourself to romance. So there's romance that's coming in here on the horizon for you. So this is about being more open minded to the situation. Okay. Being in a space where you are ready to receive this new romance is the energy re releasing any negativity from your life in order to receive this new energy that's coming in here towards you so there's an offer coming in in love okay is the energy let's see what other energies is coming through here we have memories nostalgia repetition attachment reliving the past let it go i feel like this is about you i feel like you are in a space where you are you know wishing things were different in a particular connection or situation i feel like this regret and this memories card goes hand in hand Okay, someone here is in regret about how things transpired in the situation. They wish that things were different is the energy that I'm seeing, okay? Maybe if they could have redid some things differently is the energy in the connection. That's what I'm seeing here, okay? Someone's in regret about how things transpired or at least their part in the situation. We also have settling. It says scarcity, insecurity, lack of faith. Believe that you deserve the best. Okay, so someone in this connection felt like they were settling. 
okay? Or at least not wanting to settle is the energy that's coming through here, okay? This is about feeling like there's better out there for you, okay? Maybe this person made you feel this way. Maybe this person made you feel like they were settling. Maybe they made you feel like, you know, or this could be new energy because we do have new love coming in here. Maybe you're going to feel like you're settling with this new person. That could be the energy here as well. But I'm seeing the settling energy has something to do with the past, Okay, I'm seeing past and I'm seeing present or future um, energies coming through here. Okay, but I do feel like with this settling energy, someone felt like they were settling in the connection. We have surrender. It says detach, trust, free fall, have faith that all will, um, will be well. So I do feel like, okay, someone here is in a space where they're surrendering. Didn't I say that with the attachment card? Okay, it's almost like when this person removed this false mask, they're in a space right now where they're allowing things to be happen naturally. Okay, releasing control and just allowing life to flow the way that it's meant to flow. Okay, this is about trusting in the divine and what they have in store for you. Okay, trusting what the universe has in store for you, detaching yourself from control. Okay, allowing yourself to fall freely into situations that could benefit you. This is about taking risks. Okay, that's what love is. Love is a risk. Okay, we don't know per se, even if we go on dates and ask a few questions, we don't know completely who this person is until we actually get into a very in-depth relationship with this person, okay? And that's when we discover, you know, who this person truly is and vice versa. They discover who you truly are as well, okay? So this is about allowing things to happen and unfold the way that it's supposed to. Let's get this last energy that's coming through. We have a unawakened, okay? So we have unaware, 3D, eco, darkness. Your twin flame is not ready yet okay so this is someone from your past is the energy here or this could be your actual twin flame okay they could still be going through some type of life lesson here is the energy they could be attached to you know um the 3d realm is the energy that's coming through okay this person is still channeling you know who they are as a person is the energy here Okay, this person is still in a space right now where they're still figuring out their life purpose, okay, is the energy that I'm seeing here. Okay, this could even be um, you at one point, maybe you were in this space at one point, unawakened in a situation as far as where you want to be with your life. Let's see what other energies is coming through, because we do have the deceit card, okay, so there's someone here that is still playing games, okay. We have egotistical, egotistical egotistical secrets hidden and interracial relationship is coming through okay those are the ones that flipped over so this person could have been egotistical is the energy could have had a lot of pride is the energy surrounding this person okay this he or she okay played a jerk role okay is the energy that i'm seeing okay maybe you had to give this person a lot of, t of attention here this person had high pride okay could have been very conceited is the energy here as well we have secrets hidden so there's some secrets in this connection okay there were some secrets here that you could have found out because we do have the crown chakra so someone felt like their person was not being honest with them okay this could have been an interracial relationship as well okay something is hidden here or something could be hidden you know if this person is deciding to come back something could be hidden or something hidden or something was hidden maybe someone's in regret about not expressing or you know being honest with you is the energy here let's clarify further what other energies is here spirit what other energies is here what other energies is coming through what other energies is coming through what is it that they need to know what's the energy here what's the energy here Give me some more energies. What's the energy here? All right. So we have non-committal. There it is. There it is. Okay. This person was non-committal. Didn't I call it? This person was non-committal with you. We have moving on. Okay. So you moved on from someone that was not able to commit to you. Okay. That's the energy here. You wanted stability in this situation. Okay. Some secrets here between you and this person came to light. Okay. Maybe this person maybe you realize that you were settling that's why you walked away okay but someone here is in regret maybe you're in regret about you know maybe you missed out on an opportunity that came in your way maybe you settled on being with this person now you're realizing this person was not the one for you that could also be the energy here we're gonna get down to the nitty-gritty what's the energy here spirit let's get two more cards from this deck what's the energy coming through what's the energy here what's the energy here coming through in this reading thank you we have third party pregnancy so is this the secret that was hidden? Okay, so this was the secret that was hidden. 
Okay, so your person could have someone else here pregnant. Maybe you were pregnant by someone else. Maybe someone's in regret. Maybe that's why this regret energy is here. I told you, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty, okay? Someone here had held a secret. I feel like the secret has a lot to do with this third party pregnancy, okay? Maybe your person was in an interracial relationship with the third party, or maybe you were in an interracial relationship, okay? doesn't really matter, okay? But I'm just trying to get down to the nitty gritty of what's going on here. The message of spirit is trying to relay. But I feel like, okay, with this moving on card, you moved on from this person. I feel like you followed your intuition. Okay, you felt something was fishy, but it has something to do with this person not being committed to you. Maybe this person was non-committal because they had someone pregnant. Okay, is the energy that's coming through. That's I feel like that was the secret. Okay, if you don't know, then that was the energy here for your person. All right, let's see what these last two energies. We have Apology and then we have July. This July card is coming out a lot. Okay, so someone here wants to apologize. Maybe this person's in regret about how they treated you. Okay, the fact that they were non-committal in the situation. Okay, maybe this, you're going to receive apology from this person in July. Okay, that could be the energy that's coming through here as well. Nonetheless, we're going to clarify further. We're going to see what is going on. Okay, because something's coming in here towards you and it's in regards to love. You're going to receive some type of offer here is the energy. Okay, I feel like this person was unawakened in the situation, but now wanting to come in here towards you okay let's see what energies is coming through what's the energy here spirit what is it that the my um scorpios need to know what's the energy here for this reading what's the energy here for this reading what's the energy here spirit what's the message what's the message what's the message what's the energy here? tell me more about this situation spirit what's the energy what's the energy last shuffle last shuffle all right so we have the magician card Okay, this magician card means manipulation, okay? So this is a very strong energy here. I feel like someone here followed their intuition in a situation, okay? You could have psychic abilities as well, is the energy that's surrounding you, okay? This is about being in your power, okay? So maybe you decided to move forward and move past the situation, okay? You realize you were in control of your own reality, your own destiny here, okay, is what I'm seeing here. We have the full card here. I feel like you're moving, you moving, you're moving on to something different. Okay, I feel like you now became in your power. You feel empowered to create your own reality. Now realizing that this situation was not for you. Okay, I'm seeing new beginnings with this full card energy. Maybe you felt like a fool in a situation. This person could have made you feel that way. So you're leaving and you're moving forward with a new beginning. Okay, is the energy. What are the energies is coming through? What are the energies here, spirit? What are the energies is here for the collective? What are the messages you have? What are the energies is here? What are the energies? Okay, so we have stuff that's wanting to flip, but it's not jumping. Let's see. What are the energies here? What are the energy here? Last, last shuffle. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so we have the Hierophant card. We have the Queen of Swords in the reverse. We have the Five of Wands. We also have the Four of Wands. And then last but not least, we have the Chariot in reverse. Okay, so let's clarify these energies, okay? So with the Hierophant card here, this is about learning lessons in a situation, okay? Becoming wise, making better choices in your life. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we got the Ten of Wands. Okay, so the overall energy is this situation became very stressful. The overall energy is about releasing things that no longer serve you. Okay, so this um, Ten of Wands energy is a very strong energy that speaks of stress, exhaustion, taking on a lot of responsibilities in a situation, needing to ask for help, needing to let go is the energy that is coming through. So you found the situation to be very stressful. It could be your person who found the situation to be very stressful. Take it as it resonates. Okay, with the Hierophant card, this person and the Four of Wands showing up here in the reading all at once, you could have been married to this person here as well. This could have been a marital union. Okay, but I feel like with the Hierophant energy, this is about, you know, um, figuring something out here. You know, I feel like knowledge was given to you. Okay, you could have found out one way or another that this person was not honest with you. Okay, I feel like this has something to do with an unconventional lifestyle or an unconventional relationship is the energy that I'm seeing here with this Hierophant energy. Could have been dealing with the Taurus with the Hierophant energy coming through. Now we have the Queen of Swords, okay? But the Queen of Swords energy, it's in the reverse, okay? This energy speaks of dishonesty in situations. Someone was holding something back from you. This speaks of deceit, 
a very dysfunctional situation is the energy that's coming through manipulation having poor communication in situations okay someone here had lack of emotions okay so this person could probably not care how you felt or how you would feel because of their actions okay we have the five of wands speaks of chaos there was chaos in the situation arguments not being able to see eye to eye over the situation okay that's the energy that i'm getting here the five of wands could also mean competition okay someone else is in uh, in this in this space Okay, this person could have, uh, with the Queen of Swords in reverse, this person could have, you know, cheated on you with someone in air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Okay, or maybe you cheated with someone in air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. We also have the Four of Wands here, energy that speaks of homecoming, celebrating is the energy here. So I feel like, you know, for some of you, you could be married to this person. This could also mean someone wants to return home to you. We're going to clarify Okay, we've got the chariot. The chariot's in the reverse. Could have been dealing with the uh, um, cancer here. Someone had lack of self-control. Okay, someone here is being blocked by some type of obstacle is the energy that's coming, coming through here. Lack of direction in a situation. Not knowing what to do, where to go is the energy um, that's surrounding um, someone here in this reading. Let's clarify. Let's clarify further. Why are these energies here, Spirit? Clarify the energies that's coming through for the collective. Clarify the Magician, the Hierophant card, the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Five of Wands, the Four of Wands, the Chariot in reverse. What's the energy here? Clarify in the Ten of Wands. What's the energy here? What's the energy here? Clarify. What's the energy? Last shuffle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we have the Magician being clarified by the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Okay. So this energy is about someone here learning from the past maybe now wanting to, to return home okay so someone could be manifesting you back into their life is the energy okay with this eight of cups in reverse this is about someone returns home or wants to come home okay someone's manifesting a new beginning here okay this could be your past person now wanting to come back and apologize okay someone feels like they learned from the past Okay, this could be your energy here as well. Maybe you're manifesting a new beginning. Okay, learn from the past and now you want a new beginning elsewhere. That could be the energy here as well. Manifesting something different. Clarify the Hierophant. Okay, we got the Emperor. Clarifying the, the um, Hierophant card. Okay, so you could have been married to this person. It could be a fire sign. It could have been Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Aries very strongly with the Emperor energy. Okay, this could have been the father of your child is the energy that's coming through. This emperor energy is someone who has very strong control in situations. But I feel like it's an energy about, you know, wanting structure, wanting stability in the situation with this person. Okay, you could have seen this person in this light. Okay, maybe this person, you know, was someone that was very harsh towards you. Okay, what I mean by harsh is maybe not opening up to you, not expressing how they feel, things of that retrospect, okay? Okay, for some of you, you could have a child with this person. Clarify the Queen of Swords in reverse. We have the King of Cups. Ooh. Okay, so there's a lot of people here. So there's definitely someone involved, okay, with this King of Cups energy. This person could have been dealing with the water side, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, maybe this, this is your energy. Maybe you were the one dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra here. Okay, married third party situation. Okay, maybe you're the one who became pregnant by someone. That's the energy I'm seeing here because this is your energy. Okay, someone became very cold and detached after finding out about this situation. Okay, with this King of Cups. Okay, this King of Cups speaks of a married person too. Someone who is very understanding, affectionate, family-oriented person. Okay, there could have been some type of affair here between you and an, and an air sign. Okay, is the energy here as well. Or your person had an affair with someone here in air energy. Clarify the Five of Wands. Okay, so we got the Eight of Swords in reverse. Okay, with this Eight of Swords energy in the reverse, this energy speaks of... You know, someone being hopeful, okay, could be releasing something. I feel like you released it, okay? Didn't I say this with this mask energy, okay? Someone's decided to decided to release it. It became too chaotic, okay? Someone decided to let it go, okay? This could be why you walked away. You just, you felt stuck, 
is the energy here, but you released it. Clarify the Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here? We got the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, clarifying the Four of Wands. I feel like this is about a new situation, okay? The Five of Pentacles in the reverse speaks of an energy of a new job, a new home, hope returns, recovery from a situation, okay? So maybe this person married someone else. Okay, that could be the energy here as well. Became pregnant by someone else, married someone else is the energy here. Sought out a new home. That could also be the energy that's coming through. Clarify the chariot in reverse. We have the nine of swords in the reverse, clarifying the chariot in reverse. Okay, I feel like, okay, someone healed past a situation or tried to heal past the situation, it became a situation where it was very hard to get to that per that point. I feel like after finding out whatever it is that you found out, the secret that came to light here, I feel like it became very hard for you to move on, not knowing what direction to go in, okay? But I feel like you recovered past it or you will recover past it. You're moving forward is the energy that I'm seeing. To clarify the Ten of Wands, we have the Knight of Pentacles, okay, clarifying the Ten of Wands. I do feel like with this Knight of Pentacles energy, I feel like you move forward. This is about you um, finding new endeavors. This is about, you know, new beginnings for you and work, work matters is the energy here. So you could be someone right now focused on your money and your coin, you know, decided to release the situation in order to focus on yourself. Okay, that's the energy that I'm seeing here. I do feel like this is an energy where things things ended. Look at this. The next card after that was the tower. So this is about things ending for you. And then we also have the four cups in the reverse. This speaks of, you know, a new outlook on life or a new direction. I feel like you went in a new direction. Okay. You could have felt like you missed out on an opportunity as well. But I feel also feel like you went in a different direction. That direction is you could be focused on your money, your coin, things of that retrospect. You know, just trying to find your way in life after this I don't know, dysfunctional situation, okay? But I am I am seeing third-party situation, okay? Someone here was definitely pregnant by someone else is the energy here. Take it as it resonates. Someone could have uh, married someone else here is the energy coming through as well. Built a new home elsewhere is the energy. Started in a family elsewhere is the energy here as well, okay? Someone here could have be in regret about it is the energy that's here as well too coming through, Okay? Or maybe this is an energy that's coming in here towards you. That could be the energy here as well. Anyways, guys, you're going to want to meet me in the extended. In the extended, we're going to dive deeper into the message. I want to see what's next for you after this situation. I also want to find out how is this person truly feeling about you, okay? I also want to know if this person's happy, you know, what life lessons has been learned in the situation, the outcome, any other advices or messages from spirit of, that will come through for you in the extended. All right, guys, till next time. Bye. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply.